Hi everyone and welcome to a very special short video that we're actually going to be doing. Uh, it's not going to be anything um, big, nothing huge, nothing extravagant, no no uh, gameplay, no nothing. If you actually read the um, title for the video, you'll actually be seeing something that's quite different. Or I guess technically, compared to my other rantings, not so different. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be trying out three different types of masks or two of the same but one different. We're going to be trying these masks out to see if we can smell this, the cinnamon wax cubes. Now, the reason behind this is because I am a advocate or I'm a very strong supporter that masks do not work at all. And they don't. They do not protect you from COVID. And YouTube can try to decline that all they want, but they do not protect you. They are quite literally the most useless thing you could be using right now, other than just, I guess, not wearing a mask. But to be fair, they don't work anyway, so who cares? Anyways, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be testing three different types of masks or three masks overall. One is going to be one that is still sealed in a thing because when I, where I work, I work at Walmart and every day we clock in, they give us a mask, one of these cheap little if I can actually help you see that. And I keep bumping my mic stand. You can help you see it. It's folded in half because I guess they hate us. Even though they could fit the whole thing in there perfectly fine, unfolded, they keep folding it for some reason. The one is still sealed from like two days ago when I got it. The other one, actually, I was using today while I was at work. And this one, the reason it's different is because the, the earlobes hurt my ears so what I do is I take my previous day mask and I'll rip off if I can show you here I'll rip off the thing that holds the mask to your ears in the loop and what I do is I take each loop and I tie onto it that way it goes whoops around my head that way it pulls it and holds it but it doesn't go over my ears because that hurts my ears so we're going to be testing that and then, of course, because I'm going to have to, we're going to test Walmart, whoops, Walmart official masks, ones that Walmart get and handed out a long time ago. I made sure to wash it, made sure it was clean because I have no idea where it's been. I just found it randomly. I'm going to be testing that as well. So what we're going to do, and you can, you can do this too if you want. You can participate. You can get one that you absolutely hate. You can get one that you absolutely love. But you got, it's got to be one that you can actually smell, not something that smells kind of similar to the room. Something that will definitely stand out. That way, if you can smell it, you know for a fact that your mask doesn't work. So, I'm going to open this guy up. And I don't know how edited this video is going to be. I don't know if I'm going to do a whole lot of editing or very little editing. I really don't know. Honestly, I don't care. Because when it comes to masks, they're useless. So as you can see, oh, whoops, I'll show you the blue side so that way the light doesn't blind it out. It's the blue side. It can expand and open just like a regular mask can. And just for simplicity, I'm just going to sit there and have the blue side in. Normally, blue side's supposed to be out, but I really don't know if it makes a difference. Get this guy on here really tight, really, really tight. So that way no air goes in, no air comes around. And this is the most proper way you're supposed to wear the mask. And I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. I'm not going to try to rig it. I'm not going to sit there and say, oh, I smell it even if I don't. I'm going to be 100% genuine because that's not fair if I would lie. So it's open, brand new wax. I can already smell it. I'm going to hold it quite far away from my face, actually. I can smell it. It smells like, um, what is that cinnamon gum? Like the trident? Yeah, the cinnamon trident or the big red gum. Yeah, it smells like big red. Oh, I love the smell of cinnamon. So yeah, even wearing it properly, having it over about a foot and a half, almost two feet away from my face, I could smell it almost immediately. Now, again, ugh, already got something to, the humid air in there. Ugh. I'm talking in it. Um, and the reason this is some, uh, significant for why it doesn't work is because I'm not going to try to use big words or I'm not going to try to use big words and end up using them terribly. But otherwise, the scent 
or the particles that carry the scent or the molecules, whatever it is that carries that scent to your nose, I think they said is like 10 times bigger than the actual COVID virus. So it's like, I think you have the, the really small COVID virus and then you have a huge thing 10 times bigger. If that's making it through your mask, then COVID is making it through your mask. So now we're going to try the way I was wearing it today. And I'll even show you why I wear it the way I do. So when I wear it at work, I always tuck it in, tighten around the nose because I don't like the air going into my eyes. I keep bashing things on my mic. I don't know why. This is a terrible spot to put it. But I always fold the bottom up. So that, and so I, I always pull it away also. So that way air will go out when I breathe out. It goes out and it goes down. It goes away from my eyes because I had actually for about three, four months, my eyes were red. And the doctor told me, said because of the mask, and because of me wearing a mask for my work every day for eight hours at a time, the air going into my eyes was actually causing eye damage. And that if I had not acted sooner or if I had acted any later, I might have actually had eye damage. So there you go. Masks actually do damage your health. <clears throat> they actually hurt your eyes. So this is how I wear it. There's some, yeah, there's some gaps in it, but, you know, nothing I can do. And actually, for the sake of the test, I'll pull this as tight as I can. So as I can feasibly get it. And we're going to do it. We're going to even give this one a long shot. I'm going to hold it far away from me. Okay, ready? I'm going to hold it far away. If I can open it first. And we'll give it a second. Got a little whiff of that there. <coughs> oh God, cinnamon strong. Yeah, I can. It it takes a second, but it it'll lingers. And oh gosh, man, it, it literally feels like I just opened up a pack of like the big red gum, like a big pack of it. But yeah, like, but it's no surprise. This has air gaps all around it, so it's not going to be as useful. And of course, you know, funny, funny enough, for the most deadliest virus apparently in the world, I'm just throwing my masks around on the on my table or on my desk. You know, kind of funny. Most deadliest virus ever, but we do not dispose of our masks in biohazard containers. So, again, is it really even that deadly? It's not. And YouTube can go ahead and try to ban this video. I'll just repost it. I have other channels. I'll post it there too. And let's see. This is the whoops. Whoops. There it is. I keep forgetting I have this mirrored. So we have my Walmart approved mask, Walmart sponsored mask, I guess, that I never ever wear because I hate again the straps here on my ears. I hate it. I don't like it at all. Actually, for you guys, I want to make this thing extremely tight. And I'm going to make this extremely tight, so that way it's pulling as hard as it can. My heater just kicked on. Go. So you can see here, no gaps here, no gaps here. Perfectly sealed, as it should be, all the way around. I'm going to open it up one last time. And if I'm looking like down, not relative to the camera where I'm looking at you here, it's because I'm looking at the screen so I can make sure what my motions are doing can be seen on the screen. And I open this off like down here and I can already smell it like right away. Oh my God, that's so strong. Yeah, even like, <laughs> and the thing is I have bad breath. Like I know I have bad breath because wearing those masks all day and talking to my customers, I know I got bad breath. And me talking in this and that breath just stirring around in there. If I'm smelling this over my own bad breath, that's telling you just how much is actually getting through. Oh, God. Love the smell of cinnamon, but it's strong sometimes. So this video is not meant to be long. It's not meant to be special or outrageous or mind-provoking or thought-provoking. It is literally just to prove that masks do not work by just function. 
the world's deadliest virus of 0.03% lethality. We're using paper masks, or I guess woven masks and woven masks that we just throw away and just throw anywhere we want. We have these masks that, again, even though they are of a higher quality, they are still just as porous. They let air through, and by contrast, it lets COVID through. That we also just sit down. We don't wash regularly. We just set them down on tables or anywhere we want with no regard to anything else. We don't dispose of them. And if you think just washing it is going to kill COVID, you're an idiot. Uh, we don't use chemicals in that way. Not really. Um, not for world ending viruses, apparently. But. The whole point of this video was just so that way you know that, yes, the molecules or the particles that carry scent to from the item to you are about 10 times, I think they said, 10 times or 20 times larger than the COVID virus. And if that is getting through my mask, where I am very clearly able to smell it, then that means COVID getting through. And that means nothing the, the mask is doing is is saving me now i'm if i'm within apparently now the approved three feet that the cdc says is okay if i'm within that approved three feet of a customer for a prolonged period of time these masks are not saving me i am still a hundred percent at risk with or without the mask so if you ask me i'm gonna go without the mask because i like the air i breathe i don't want the carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide, whatever it is that we breathe out. I don't like the toxic gas that gets expelled from my body whenever I breathe and whenever I speak. So there you have it. End of the video. Nothing great. Nothing super uh, planned out. In fact, this whole thing is actually unscripted, which is rare for me. But that's about it. And if YouTube does take down this video, I will be reposting it. I will be posting it on my other channels. And in the comment section below, you can find me on Parlor. So, uh, have a good day.